Hey everybody, it's been a while since we've done videos, apologize for that. Someone who's complaining about the fact that we're not responding to their questions, remember this is a free channel, take it what it is. And typically we do three or four videos at a time, we may not do any for a few days, and it's probably been a week, so you know, there's gonna be some delays. The other thing too yeah. is, if we got phone numbers that they can call, they needed an answer well, I just assume they don't do that. I get too many phone calls to do this. Oh. I just assume they don't do that, actually, to be honest with you. I get, I get 100 phone calls a day. So here we go. Um, uh, just ahead, someone's saying here, TJ, it's illegal to take blood in the UK unless it's a vet. Right, might well be so true. I mean, I don't know what the rules are in the UK. You know, you take, you take, here's the deal. If somebody takes blood from your dog, they're not gonna hurt your dog. But if it's illegal and you wanna go sue them for it, get after it and do it. Just tell them beforehand you're gonna do that. Though. That'd be the polite thing to do. I'm on my high horse today, I'm just letting you know this. Uh, someone's talking about dogs. So we're talking about fixing a dog's hematoma where it's got a big old blood blister on its ear. So how long do you leave it on for? The answer is you leave it on for as long as it takes for, when you take it off, it, the ear looks normal. So if you take it off, and the ear starts to fill back up with blood, you took it off too early, stick it back on there again. You may have to put another needle in the back of the ear to drain the blood out. So you got to, it's gonna take, what does it take normally? Three, four, five days? Not ear flop, but a hematoma. I mean, it can hematoma, take a while. Yeah, it takes a, take a while. Three, four, five days, it takes about a good week. Why is there an R in KB? Well, there's KB and KBR. That's the reason why. So KBR is the brindle, which animal genetic doesn't test for. So for them, it's just the K or the KB. So the KBR, there is two different versions of this, but as best I know, it all produces a brindle. Can you make a video on how to register a new litter online? I've got one. Just go look it up under Love My Pups and you'll see there, just put in the word register and you'll see it. Or go to akc.org and you'll see registering a litter. Yes. Well, they don't give me any information on it. You've got to plug your way through it, but yeah. Any information on doing, on doing, on AI on an XL dog? Norm, same as any other dog. Nothing special about it. I, I breed to help people with German Shepherds and Chihuahuas, and it's all the same thing. There's no difference in terms of the technique that you use. these long ones here and we'll skip that we had a litter of four beautiful pups last week mum had a blood clot on her uterus so she was not feeling well we finally got her situated with pups lacking on growth I too fed but how often well so so the answer is as far as tube feeding is concerned it is what their body weight in ounces you feed in mils every three hours 10 ounce puppy gets 10 mils every three hours Dave Smith, James Boy, do a video on, on does the second mating count, please, you silver fox. Well, I mean, the only reason to do a second AI is because you think it's gonna do some good. I mean, who knows whether it took on the first one or the second one. The reason for doing two is to spread your opportunity. Because, well, here's the deal. The time to breed a dog. Secure it. Yeah, the time to breed a dog is measured within plus or minus a day. And so if you breed two days later again, you extend your window of opportunity. That's it. Did it take on the first one or the second one? Who knows? It's insurance. You just don't want to miss it. Right. Period. How do I register my lilac and tan French bulldog with the AKC? Well, you can't register specific. You can register any dog that has AKC parents with the AKC. So the color's got nothing to do with it. You're just gonna go and go get AKC papers. Whether you had a mural or a, um, a platinum, it doesn't matter. The only thing you have to do is decide on what color you're gonna put on the form, and it only gives you a few choices. You have to choose the one you think's best. And if, if you call AKC about it, they're gonna say, well, take a picture of it, send it to me. And by the time you take a picture of it, send it in, it's a week maybe two. that they get to look at it, pull it off their desk, and then they're gonna send you back a letter a week later and say, oh, just go ahead and register it, it's fine. That's what we do, yeah, register was so form. just go ahead and do it. If it's a brindle, register a brindle. If it's one of the colors that are accepted, register that. If it's not, yeah. this register the form and be done with it. Because yeah. it doesn't matter, it's no. just irrelevant. The DNA is Where can I unique. order the heated heat tape? You can order that at mybreedersupply.com. And if you order stuff this month, 
you would get 10% discount using the coupon code fireworks. So that's mybreedersupply.com. Yeah. And we're all the time saying what the website is on our YouTube videos. It's right there at the beginning, it's too. Right there at the beginning, right there at the end, in the middle. It's all over it. Uh, see, Nesta Celia says, I have a question slash doubt. I purchased a female Frenchie that is visibly blue merle, but her DNA from her mark has a... Has, well, here's the thing. The problem with merles are, is good luck deciding what the color is on merles. You send, people send me pictures all the time. What color is this dog? And I just say, I go get a DNA test. You can't tell. I mean, a blue brindle would be obvious but once you put merle in there, it can look like all kinds of other things. Yeah. A brindle merle can look like it's a blue merle. You've got to go do a DNA test. Yeah. I know that's yeah. not the answer you wanted, but that is the right answer. Yeah. Uh, someone's talking about a shipmate. Say, what a great product. We'll need one soon. Good. Go get one. You'll like it. Why do you not want a brindle? Because brindles hide up tan points. Well, because we're high on our tan points. Yeah. That's why we don't want brindles. So it doesn't mean that you don't want it. Yeah, right. We don't need it in our... 10 points. Well, this is a nice one. Calio Oliveira says, James is the best teacher to teach all about French Bulldog breed and is a humble man that he takes his time to answer all my questions. Thank you, everything, Mr. James. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for the, uh, the shout out. Appreciate that. So, talking about the dog hematoma, Gordon Mitchell says, great advice. He rescued uh, a dog eight years ago in a heavy snowstorm. They were told to put the dog down, um, but I guess he did this procedure and it worked for him and the dog was safe. Well, good deal. I would never put a dog down for a ear hematoma. That sounds, that sounds like putting a human being down because he's got a wonky tooth. No, it's just Darn it, I was going to do like, that with yeah. James. I was going to say, if that was a possibility, I wouldn't be here on this show. That's for damn sure. Damn would have had me six foot on the ground because I'd broken a fingernail. Where's James? I don't know. I haven't seen him James. for days. Where's James? I haven't seen him. He broke a fingernail. We had to put him down. Yeah. <laughs> Hi James, Tammy, love your videos. Have you ever had an issue with Shipmate being pulled for inspection during shipping due to the shape of the product of the battery? No, and that is in 7,000 shipments. Never happened to me one single time. So no, not, not an issue at all. Plus, put some paperwork in there that describes what this thing is. The only time you could ever possibly have a problem would be that you are shipping something um, overseas and it goes through customs. But I mean, I've done tons of these, especially through Canada. And uh, I, they get opened up, but it, uh, you know, there's a piece of paper in that says what it is. Never had a problem with them. So there is an issue with batteries shipping things, but the issue with batteries is when they are lipo, lithium ion batteries. This is an alkaline D cell, it's just not an issue. So, okay. Uh, my dog has a hematoma. Can I drain her ear after one day? Yes, you can. Absolutely, just follow the direction on the video. Susan Brocksmith says, one idea about the portal incubator, it can fashion some, something with screws for the connector so it doesn't pull out quite easily. Yeah, I know, if you move the incubator while it's plugged in, you can unplug it. So, you know, it's, it's, the problem with this is it's hard to do things like that. There's just not any suitable plugs out there that are screw on plugs, unfortunately. We've tried a number of different plugs and it is what it is. Uh, but you, I'll, do you got stuff to do this time? Is this no, me? You did. Okay, just give me a second. Uh, just one more, and we're done. And we'll just do another one. Susan says again, we'll be studying out my two Boublier males. Boublier is one of our stud dogs. Uh, Susan's got some puppies from that. Thank you, Susan. Uh, should I buy, she's asking about shipmates. Should I buy two? Should I, how many should I buy for two boys? Well, let's just talk about one. So here's the situation. If you've got a boy that's busy, let's say he gets used once a week, and you do two AIs, so you need two flasks to do that, then those two flasks don't come back to you for maybe another week because you ship them back by slow boat because it's cheaper, so then you need four. So the answer is if I had two dogs, I'd probably have six flasks. If I had one dog, I'd probably start with three or four. 
And that is it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. And thanks for watching the, the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here. And certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye. Thank you.